Root is a board game, a pretty fun one actually. A bit slow at points, each of the unique factions playing very differently from one another, so it's a lot of rulebook looking up during your first actual run, but it's an enjoyable experience. I originally played the Marquis, as it was supposed to be fairly standard, and I managed to drag the Eerie down with me as the Woodland Alliance overran our petty little war. It was fun. Magpie got the license to make the tabletop role-playing game about it. And it exists! Yep, I'll give the absolute basics. It's powered by the apocalypse. But you've got your moves, you got your 2d6, and you got your weak and your strong hits. You've seen it before and you'll see it again, but what does Root bring to the table? And that's where things start getting complicated because it doesn't do anything. Outside the standard issue of moves and playbooks, the only thing characters really bring are based on the board game, have their roguish feats and rep and skills, which can be summarized as moves, but everyone actually has them. There are 19 playbooks, but all of them have these basic moves in addition to the other basic moves, with many of them being standard assortment of when X then Y. You end up with moves not defined by any particular character or playbook, such as of the people is when you travel down a path at a relaxing pace, if successful, you encounter a friendly face on the journey, offering food and assistance. On a weak hit, they're in a bit of trouble, but if you miss, trouble rears its head. Now, that move can apply to nearly every playbook, but is instead tied to the champion, which is part of a secondary set of playbooks. This isn't factoring in almost everything is based off of resource management. Injury, four boxes. Exhaustion, four boxes. Depletion, four. Weapon, boxes. Armor, boxes. Reputation, guess what? It's box time. I question why this is the case, but I guess that's all you can really do, in addition to the base game having a similar set of mechanics regarding the Vagabond player. There are other niggling little parts that seem to strictly adhere to what it wants you to do, such as the faction system, the natures, the drives, and the very set of actions being able to done all feels constrained. That's it, really. I can't summarize Root the role-playing game more than a PBTA game with resource management, please clap. But if you wanted me to tell you it's just PBTA, you can stop here. But I thought about it a bit, and here's my two cents on the matter. We reworked the system from the ground up. Root itself uses a D12 to resolve its combat, so we'll keep with that. Simple D12 plus modifier system. It's swingy, but that's okay, because we have some wiggle room to deal with, keeping the attributes in place, the Vagabonds now have to rely more on their wits and skills more than anything, so we get a nice selection of hell a dozen skills, set up it running and it'll sing just right. Main thing to consider is deprivation, because resource management is tied to the base, so having the equipment, tools, and character to get worn down works actually really well. We want to contrast the brutality of the conflict with the fairy tale nature of the setting, so a nasty death spiral and add in some basic savior mechanics to double down. Their species isn't all that important, but small modifiers here and there wouldn't be entirely remiss. Keep the conflicts episodic and combat chunky and fast, and voila, you have a game. With the removal of playbooks and moves, you can have a bit more leeway in how to design characters instead of being tied down to a single archetype. Hell, if you're dedicated and you still want to have those archetypes, but cutting down the strict nature of them, your class is more about some basic starting equipment and some skills. You can keep those resource management aspects without really then you have the baggage behind it. Things will break. That's fine. You're a vagabond. This is something I wrote up in five minutes. A basic concept. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't know the requirements or need the project demanded from the license. This feels more like it should have been a different system than the one it currently has. My name is Notepad Anon, and this was Root, the tabletop role-playing game. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And are many thanks to the Plutocrats, as always. They fun my lonesome wandering.